Hey, welcome to After Climb. Today, I'm going to do a deep dive into our customer loyalty application and how it works. Um, some really great stuff. Before I get into the demo, though, I want to talk about just briefly about customer loyalty. Uh, to, to, create a, to create a great customer loyalty program is really about marketing. You've got to create excitement. You've got to get people interested. Lots of signage lots of emails, you know, get people, give people a reason to be excited about coming in back into your store. Um, so it really is important to do that. Uh, we can do some really cool things though, to help you create that excitement. And that's what I'm going to get into right now. So let me uh, share my screen. And I'm also going to turn off my, uh, my video. And uh, now we got full screen real estate. Okay, so um, let's get started. We're going to go over to the associates tab and go into uh, loyalty levels is where I want to start. So in my system, I've created loyalty levels. Um, you don't have to do this, but I think it's a good idea. Uh, so I've got four. Uh, and then when I get, uh, so everybody starts at bronze. And then when they reach the thousand points, they automatically move to silver and so forth and so on. And that's totally automated. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to look at anything. That just happens behind the scenes, real time. So once you have these set up, there's some cool things, cool features that you can do, promotional events and things of that nature uh, based on level. And uh, so I'm going to show you a little bit about that in a moment. Okay, so let's get right into loyalty parameters. So I'm not going to go through every single one of the parameters. If you uh, need help on those, you can click F1 help. It'll take you right to the loyalty parameters uh, page and, and it explains every single one of these parameters. But I do want to talk about some of the basics. First of all, the calculation method. So the calculation method is either points per dollar or points per item. And typically, most loyalty programs are based on points per dollar. Doesn't mean you have to do it that way, but that's the, the most common way. And then I've got my system set up so that I get one point for every dollar I spend. And you can see that you can obviously change that. You can be one point for every $5 or however you want to do it. But you also control the minimum purchase. Uh, so you can say that it has to be you know, a minimum of a dollar before there's any points. Uh, and then you can determine how you want to round up, down, proportional. And then you can also decide whether or not you want to include promotional events. I've got mine set up so that even promo events, they're getting points, but you don't have to do that. This free items, um, that only comes into play if you decide to use uh, points per item, and then this would be available to you. But we're doing points per dollar. Okay, um, and then the redemption rate. So I'm saying that uh, for, if I, I redeem 100 points, I get a dollar uh, in return. And then I'm also saying that I, I have to redeem those points uh, in multiples of the minimum. So the uh, multiples of 100. And so if I have 232 points, I can only redeem two, 200 points or $2 at a given moment in time. Okay. And I don't need to go through all of them, but here uh, I would make a suggestion prompting for the loyalty, uh, the loyalty card at the register. I think is a really good idea when you get started. When you're starting out with your program, that's something that I think you really want to do because it's new to everybody. So you want to get your clerks familiar with it. At some point down the road, when everybody's familiar, you may be able to just turn this off. It is one extra keystroke at the till. So at some point you may wish to just turn that off. Now there's a feature here called auto display points redemption screen. I'm not going to do that to start with. I'm going to come back to that in a little bit. Um, so the rest of this is, uh, just stuff that uh, uh, for the starting point here, we're, uh, we don't really need to talk about, but I will point this one out, print gift certificate at till. This is a feature we added uh, where you can actually, at the end of the transaction, you can print a gift certificate uh, for a return visit. And uh, so we'll, we'll show that. Uh, and I've said that the maximum at any, in any transaction that you can print that gift certificate is $10. Uh, so you can change that as you'd like. And then this point uh, accumulator, this does allow you to limit your liability. So a person, you can say they can't get more than 10,000 points or 30,000 points or whatever you feel, because remember, this is a liability, right? You, uh, you um, have this liability 
for because this is real money actually that they can uh, redeem at some point. And then finally, uh, the loyalty opt-in bonuses. This is something that I think is a good idea where if they provide you their email address, uh, the, uh, you can give them 50 bonus points. Now you can do it without the email address as well, but I really like the idea of getting them, giving them the extra points if they give you the email. Um, and you can set that to whatever, it could be 500 points, whatever you want. Um, but that email is what's valuable to you, right? Because you want to be able to market to them via email and you can use something like MailChimp or Constant Contact to do that because we can export the, your loyalty members too, uh, uh, you know, that you can then import into those other, uh, into those other email campaign type uh, applications. Okay, so let me show you a couple of other things and we're gonna, then I'll show you how this is done at the, the, the till. So one of the things we have here is called exceptions. Exceptions can be both positive and negative. So for instance, some pharmacies don't allow for loyalty points on prescriptions. So if I don't, if I want to do that, I could come to the department and click add, and I could put in my, my, my prescription department, which is 80, and I'll show you that right here. So there's my prescription department. And I can say minus 100%, click add. And now if I scan prescriptions at the register, it's not going to, uh, it's not going to, to give you any points for that. Okay, you also have the ability to uh, do additional, uh, you could you could do something uh, completely the opposite, where you're doubling points, or you're giving uh, you know a higher percentage of points for a specific department or category or fine line, even a specific item, um, and uh, or you can do things like with price matrix uh, for like in uh, senior pricing. Maybe you're giving uh, you know some extra points for senior pricing. Um, you also could do. Um, for method of payments, I know of a customer that doesn't give points for people that charge their AR account. Um, I'm not saying that's the best practice, but these are just ideas. Okay. Um, so let's go over here. Before I get to reports, let's go to gift certificates. So when you create a gift certificate, um, the, uh, it will be listed here. And then if it's been scanned and redeemed at the till, it will show that. So it, all the gift certificates are serialized. So you can't reuse a gift certificate. So if somebody makes multiple copies of the same gift certificate, doesn't do them any good because as soon as it's scanned, it's no longer valid. So we have two that are open here um, and we can print them or reprint them. Okay, so prior to this, I went ahead and printed one that I'm gonna use to scan at the uh, register. So we'll see that in a moment. Now, how do they get created? So they get created over here in the reports. And, and there's a lot of great reports in here showing you your top uh, customers and so forth. I'm not gonna go through all the reports. You can see you've also have reports showing their birthdays and anniversaries. Uh, you can do all the loyal customers and this would be one that you would actually, uh, the quote loyalty customer list be something that you use to export out to, uh, to you know, be able to import into MailChimp or Constant Contact or something like that. But what I do wanna show you is this particular thing here. So viewing and issuing gift certificates. So we're gonna click next and um, when we do this, I always recommend that you click view only, no updates. Now you can set whatever you want to be the multiple, uh, gift certificate multiples of $10 in this case. Um, if you want to increase that to 20 or 40 or whatever, you can do that. Um, and then it'll look for the people that qualify to get that large of a gift certificate. I'm going to leave mine at 10 just to show you how this works. So uh, view only, no updates is just going to give you the report. Then you can come back and decide what to do next. So here we go. And it's showing that it's only going to give us one gift certificate of $10 uh, for Pauline Anthony if we do this. Okay, now I can back this off and uh, let's let's uh, do this again, but let's see if we can get more people by just doing $5. How many people will qualify? And so we have some extra people that are gonna qualify if I wanna go with $5. Um, so now um, I'll go ahead and say, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and perform updates as requested. And then it comes up with, do you want to deduct points? So um, I would say typically, yes, you do want to deduct points. Um, and then the, the second question is, do you want to recalculate the current level? 
my thinking and the best practice of this is no, uh, because if you've got somebody that's at the platinum level, uh, you want them to stay at the platinum level. You want to know that this is one of my best customers, regardless of the fact that they've redeemed points. So now some people uh, will, one consideration you could do is at the end of every year, you could, you could do this and then say yes to this and have it recalculate their current level so that you know, that the the uh, the loyalty calculation uh, the the uh, level calculation is based on an annual basis so maybe you started your program you know let's say you started your program on september 1st of this year so on september 1st of next year you might go ahead and recalculate the current level i wouldn't do that myself um, but that's just something that you can do I definitely wouldn't do it every time you redeem certificates though. So in this case, we'll go ahead and do next. It's generating the points. Uh, and then I'm gonna click uh, out of here. And now if we go to give certificates, oops, one sec, there we go. Um, then we go to give certificates and we'll see that these gift certificates got it added to the end of this list. Um, and so now uh, these people all have these gift certificates available. Okay. Um, I wanna point out just one other piece here, loyalty letters. Loyalty letters do give you the ability to create a letter that can be either mailed out or emailed out. Uh, you, you simply uh, pull fields in that you want, where you want them, and then and then type away with what you want. Uh, the, a common one for this would be uh, welcoming them to the loyalty program. So that that's something that you could consider doing. You could also do it, you know, that it goes out with um, mailed out uh, certificates, but mailing is expensive, right? So uh, the best option, if you have the, if you have uh, emails for your, uh, loyalty customers, then you see here that when you print, you can also email. So it's print or email. And so you could just be emailing out uh, these certificates that they can print on their own instead of mailing. So um, that's the best option, of course, if you can do that. Now, uh, there is something called variable loyalty, and I'm not using variable loyalty, but let me tell you the concept. The concept is that once they reach a certain point level, then you can change the number of points they get per dollar. Uh, so um, you can either go up or down. So maybe you have somebody get to the, the platinum level and now you wanna reward them with even more points for everything that they do. So that's, a, that's what this is doing. Uh, redemption is kind of the same thing. Uh, you can change the value. So right now I'm saying they get, uh, uh, for every 100 points, they get a dollar. You could change that so that at that you know once once at at, at five thousand points they get instead of fifty dollars they get sixty dollars uh, that kind of thing. So we're not using it, but that's what that is all about. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do a transaction so that you can see what that's like, and then I'm going to show you something else that's pretty cool. So we'll get out of here, go into the till. And let's just do our first transaction. Okay, so if you look at the bottom of the screen right now, we don't have a customer associated, but what this is telling us that there's zero, whoever this is, which is uh, has zero points and they're gonna get 29 points uh, in this transaction and of that 29.0 are bonus points. So I've got the system, if you remember, set up so that it'll prompt. So if I do hit cash, it's gonna prompt and ask. Uh, and I called it the Advantage Program. You can call it whatever you'd like. Uh, and uh, we ask the customer if they're a member. They say, yes, I don't have my card. Because you can give out cards uh, that they can be scanned. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, type in a, per, a patient and bring up Pauline Anthony. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and cash out here. Oh, before I cash out, I want to comment. So you can see at the bottom, Pauline Anthony, silver level member of the, the program currently has 391 points and is gonna get an additional 29 points in this transaction of, of which zero are bonus points. So we'll hit enter. Now, this is showing you um, that, that feature that I 
talked about where I've turned on that we can create a gift certificate right there at the till. Um, and so in this case, it's saying, listen, uh, they have 391 uh, points. Would you like to give them a gift certificate for the full amount of uh, for three dollars and ninety one cents? And so if you want to create that gift certificate for this, then we can do that by hitting F1. And then when you print the receipt, it will then follow on and print that that gift certificate. And that gift certificate serialized like all the others and, and can simply be scanned the next time they come in. So I really like this feature because you don't have to mail and you don't have to email. Um, it's, it's really easy to use at the till. And so we have quite a few customers that are using that feature and, and really like it. Um, but it also reduces that ability to communicate with the customer uh, where you're making exciting for that weekly or monthly email that they're looking forward to. Um, and it reminds them to come back into the pharmacy. So, you know, there's pluses and minuses to all of these different ideas. So now let's, uh, let's go ahead and do a couple of other items. And um, this time I'm going to uh, bring up, um, whoop, I'm gonna bring up, where did it go? There it is. Okay, I'm gonna bring up a gift certificate. Uh, so this, is, this can be what a gift certificate looks like if you're printing and emailing it. Uh, it would go out as a PDF when you email it uh, so that, uh, and then you customize it. So obviously you can have your own logo and uh, your store's address and all of that. And you can even change some of this text. Um, it shows the expiration date, the serial number and expiration date, and then here's the actual gift certificate. Um, and so now that can be scanned at the register. So I'm going to pull this onto a different screen so it's out of my way um, from the register. And, um, and then we'll uh, go. This one is, there we go. Okay, so make that a little bigger on my screen. Okay, so let's do, uh, we, uh, we bring up the customer and uh, this is uh, Stephanie Montgomery. So we bring up the customer. Stephanie is a gold level member with 285 points and she's going to get 43 points for this transaction. And she gives us the, gives us the, certi the certificate. And there we go. I scan the certificate and it takes the loyalty $10 off. You see the amount tendered to 10 and the amount remaining at 36.59. And uh, now we can tender out the other, however we need to, and we'll just do cash in this case. Um, now I have it set up. You wouldn't normally do this, but because of the way I have my parameters set up right now, it's 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 doing both of these things. Uh, typically, you wouldn't do. You would do one or the other. If you're printing gift certificates, you wouldn't turn on the feature to uh, to do uh, this. And if you're doing it the other way, you wouldn't. Uh, if you're doing this, you wouldn't turn. You wouldn't be printing gift certificates. So, so anyway, um, but this again takes us back to that that uh, the screen that I showed you earlier. Okay, now um, let's make a couple of changes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the register. And I'm going to go to product management because I wanna show you this very cool loyalty promo editor. So when I talked about making it exciting, these are some of, there's a couple of tools that we can use to help do that. And one of them is the loyalty, uh, is the loyalty promo editor. So we can create a promo event. And I've got a, one that I just turned off called double points. And I'm going to bring that back up. So I can create this one I've called double points. And I can say, you know, that this is going to be good for, uh, from, let me cancel that from today until uh, we'll go through the end of the end of September. So it's a, a September promotion and it applies to the regular price matrix. It's a multiplier and the uh, multiplier is two times whatever we add to this. So when I go in here, 
I had already added these items. So I said, you know, all of the of this one particular uh, uh, product set, I'm adding, um, and they're getting double the points. So now let's watch how this works at the register. So, you, I mean, you can do anything here, by the way, before I go to that. Um, the way you get items in is you can query them. So I guess I should show this piece, it's kind of important. Um, so you can query this the database however you want, by fine line, by vendor. Let's say that you wanted to do this with, uh, uh, you're carrying a specific a line of, a new line of vitamins and supplements, and you want to really promote that line of vitamins and supplements to your, to your loyal customers. You could do that right here. Um, maybe, maybe you want to do something, a real common one is with your, with your private label products. Uh, giving double points on your private label points, or just giving bonus points uh, on your uh, on your private label products. So, there, your imagination really uh, is the limit on what you can do here. Uh, but once you create this, then it's really cool how it works at the till, uh, very you know seamlessly. So, I'm going to go ahead, get out of here, and then I'm also going to make one other change. So, we're going to make a change in the loyalty parameters. So we're going to turn off the print goods certificate at the till. Um, and in this case, we really wouldn't be doing gift certificates at all. So, I mean, I've done this and they're there, but if you were going to go with this path, you probably would choose not to do gift certificates ever. And you wouldn't be printing them at the till. You wouldn't be doing them back here. You would simply turn this feature on that allows you to uh, display points at the register and give the, the, the uh, customer the option of redeeming those points right there during the transaction. So we'll go ahead and say OK here. And then we'll go back into the register. OK, so I'll scan some items. OK, so these items add up to about just under $20. Um, but you'll see if you look down here at the bottom that uh, they're they're going to be getting 39 uh, points, so double that. So that's that was part of our promotion, right? Double um, these items, so they're going to get 39 points. And of the 39 points, 20 points are bonus points. So that's how that promotional piece works. So I'll go ahead and bring up uh, bring up one of our uh, customers. And let's see how L Abel is doing. Okay, and so this is what I was talking about where we just set it up where now uh, the system will prompt at the register for the customer uh, to redeem points. So you would do this and not use gift certificates at all, not print them at the till and not, uh, and not print them in the back or, or email them. This gives you, you can just do it right there at the till. Now here's, you know, that's great, but there's the downside is that you're not communicating with the customer. Uh, you're not, you know, you're not, it's, it's, and you're not encouraging them with a coupon to come back in after the fact. So, or a gift certificate to come back in after the fact. These are business decisions you have to make. Not a, it, there's no one size fits all. We have all of these options because we know that you, for you to have a successful pro program, you have to have options and do what fits best into your environment and with your customer base. So in this case, uh, there's 102 points, which has a value of a dollar too, uh, and they can use up to 100 points to redeem a dollar. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit enter here. And now it's taking that dollar off, the amount remaining at $20. And uh, OK, so that takes care of, of customer loyalty and the things that we can do. Now, before I let you go, I just want to comment on one other tool that makes customer loyalty even more exciting. And that's something called Advanced Gift with Purchase. An advanced gift with purchase is really powerful, and it's going to take me 20 to 30 minutes to go through advanced gift with purchase. So I'm going to do that next uh, month. 
that's going to be my after claim next month. But I just want to point out that with advanced gift with purchase, you can do it for your for your non-loyalty customers as well. But you can create specific advanced gift with purchase uh, event type situations uh, by loyalty level as well. And that is a really powerful, powerful tool. So I'm excited to show that to you next month. Okay, well, thank you all for uh, joining us. I really appreciate it. Um, bringing back my video. And uh, um, if you have questions, um, please get with our support organization. Uh, they just give us an email, give us a call, and they can help you uh, 24 seven, uh, get all of this set up and help you create an exciting program for your pharmacy. Thanks everybody and have a terrific day.